Hello, Brands Pickles here. Today we are here with a new server plugin tutorial, and today's plugin we are doing is called Vote Party, made by Clip. Clip is a very big um, developer out there, and basically I'm going to be showing you how to use Vote Party, how to code it, and make it run for your server. So you can see here it says VP Help. This will show you all the commands of the plugin. So you can see here at the top it uh, tells you how many votes is needed for the um, the party. So you get like a crate. So if I just do VP start party, it will give me a crate in 15 seconds. So a vote party will begin in 15 seconds. So when that 15 seconds is done, it will give me a piston. And then what's in that piston is some items, what is in the config file, and it will give me a reward. So there we go, a reward crate has been awarded, uh, well, added to your inventory. Right click it, does a noise, and it gave me some iron. And I got 12 iron from that, and it says your vote rewards have been applied. So if we just look at the other commands, you can see set the counter to a certain amount of votes. So if I want to change it to 10, sorry, I need to put set counter... 10 and now that's been set to 10 if I do just VP help you can see there it's only 10 now when previously it said 50 so literally you just need 50 votes and then basically you'll get a reward a reward crate basically and then you can give a crate to a certain player then how many and then give party then to the player or you can reload the plugin as well as refresh the plugin so if we just go over to this bigot page now to show you the information and then we'll go into the config file so let me just quickly go on the page like that and you can see here vote party 1.11.0 it is a premium plugin and if I'm correct um, it costs do, 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 do. Control vote party. It costs ten dollars, and this plugin is amazing. I use it for my servers. It's so good. So you can see here, you need vote fire. So if you just click that link, it will take you to a bucket page, and you just literally just hit the download button, and it will download the latest version of vote fire, and basically that is to listen to your votes. Every server what advertises should automatically have um, vote fire. So when you've got that installed, install this plugin and then you just restart the server and both the plugins will, will work. So Vote Party is a reward system which we execute through console commands, etc. Uh, it offers a customizable crate, which I'll be showing you how to do that. And then you've got your player commands, so you've got your set timer, you've got your party and everything like that. And then you've got your config file. If this video doesn't help you, this link will help you and gives you the details. So if you click this, it will tell you everything in detail. But again, I'll be showing you. And then basically the terms of service when you buy the plugin. Okay. So now if we just go to the actual file now. So plugins and find vote party. There we go. And there's the config file. So, you can see here, to check for updates, always keep that as true, obviously to get the latest updates when the plugin has been released. And then you've got the total votes needed for a party. So this is a, every time it reaches 50 votes, you'll get a vote party crate. So literally, if you've got like five links to, for voting, and 10 people voted for all 10 of them, uh, or f five links, sorry, um, basically the reward system will happen, and everyone will get this reward crate. And then it will restart to 50. And then you can disable worlds. So this basically disables the crate, what goes in that world. Uh, allow offline votes. So if anyone's voting offline, uh, it will count against the time, uh, the counter. So when the person connects, it will basically calculate. And then maximum possible rewards per player is one. Then you got your start time delay in 15 seconds. So this is the party. So when it says vote party start in 15 seconds, that's that. So we'll change that to 10. Uh, then the look commands, this is basically here. 
the no look commands. So that is basically gives you a reward if um, someone gets lucky from the loot crate. Uh, the uh, not loot crate, the reward crate. Sorry. And then allow duplications for no uh, look is basically um, the basically duplications. And then you've got your max no look command. So and so that's one. So only one command is allowed. And then reward command delay is one. And then you've got your normal rewards. So I got that one just a second ago. So you got 12 iron. So if we just do the following. So t to add like a certain reward. So let's give the player. So at P is player. And then the item. So we're going to say bedrock. And then the amount. So 5. And then basically a semicolon and then a number so let's just go with number three for the chance so there we go that's perfect and then use global pre-party start command so that is false so this will basically if you had this true this command will have a form saying the vote party basically will start soon and then again You've got your start command for a party. It's got your party starting and it saves all so it saves everyone's inventory. And then when you vote, you get an effect. So you get a, a flame effect or a heart effect when you vote. And then the party starts, you get hearts or a, a glyph. And then you've got the on party uh, commands execute. So you've got the smoke and hearts. And then you've got your crate. So you, for your crate, so your material, uh, material or ID, so 33, if I'm correct, is a piston, which is correct. So let's change it to a beacon. So 138. And we want it as a zero data. And let's rename this. Again, I don't really like bold text. So we're going to call it brands pickled. box there we go and then when you hover over it it says place me so let's change this to place me and see what's inside and then you've got your broadcast messages so again you've got all these messages so if you just copy this literally just copy it all might as well open this you'll see a bit of code in what I've been doing and you can see here that this bit needs to be renamed because I don't like square brackets. So control F that, replace, and then to replace it to whatever. So I'm going to have it as and A, brands, pickled, box. And then we're going to have the two arrows and replace all. And now you can see it's all been replaced. And let's copy that. And then paste. Friends Pickle has been placed there now. And we're going to change this as well. Brands Pickled Box. And we copy that. Paste. Wherever it says vote party, we'll change to brand's pickled box. Should be in there, but it's fine. We keep it how it is. And then per vote reward, so this is a vote listener as well. So per vote a player does, they will get um, $10 as well as 8 steak. Uh, so we could change that to 100 and then 8 stake that's fine and then it will broadcast how many votes till the vote party and then if we just save that and then go back and let's go back to Minecraft so let's flick over and do VP reload and you can see now it says brands pickled box votes needed is 10. Start. Nope. Start high. 
And you can see there now, I've changed it 10 seconds. A Brandon's Pickle to Box will begin in 10 seconds. Sounds a bit stupid, but you can see that it's been edited perfectly. And there we go. A beacon has been given. And if I hover over it, place me and see what's inside. And you can see there, I just got some diamonds. So if I just give myself now, give Create Brands Pickle to 64. Let's try get a beacon. Uh, not beacon, bedrock. I got 100 cash there, not 10. Nice, there's some money. I didn't get no rewards that time. There's some bedrock which I added in there. So literally, you can just keep on placing them. But it's a little cool effect, which you can see all the heart effects that are coming off me. Which is pretty damn awesome, and I got pretty, pretty a lot of re rewards there. But yeah, that is Vote Party. It's a very easy little lightweight plugin, which is amazing. Uh, very easy to edit. If you've got any problems with this plugin, remember to go to the discussion page on the, um, the Spicket page. And if you... Just ask me in the description and I'll try to help you out. If I can't help you, I'll tell you to go over to the um, Discord or just literally go to the GitHub page. But anyway, if you are a designer out there, a uh, developer, and need a video for your um, for your plugin, remember to comment in the comment section and ask me what plugin you want me to do a review on um, or tutorial or a showcase. And I'll do it for you. Uh, but remember to tell me what the plugin name is. And if you are new around here, remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And hope you guys enjoy.